Previously, we looked at ungrouped frequency distribution. But what if our data looks something like this? The lowest number is 1 and the highest number goes up to 25. We cannot write 25 rows of numbers and find tally marks for each. So we split the data into groups. So here we can make groups like 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15, 16 to 20 and 21 to 25. These are 5 groups with 5 numbers in each group. There is no specific rule, we just use our judgement. Groups of 10 would be too large and groups of 2 numbers would be too small. These groups are called class intervals. Let's zoom out. The class intervals can even be called class. So we find the frequency of each class instead of finding frequency of each number. We make columns of class, tally marks and frequency. We write all the class intervals in the class column 1 to 5, 6 to 10 and so on. Just like we did in one of our videos, we use tally marks to find out the frequencies. There are 4 students who have scored between a 1 and a 5, both 1 and 5 included. That will be its frequency. This is how the rest of the table pans out. There are 7 numbers in the second class, 19 numbers in the third class, 17 numbers in the fourth class and 3 numbers in the fifth class. There are a couple of more things we need to understand about these class intervals. We will cover that next.